encoding tries. In an encoding try, I'm going to represent a set of characters. And along with each of the characters, I'm going to associate a binary string. So every character is associated with a binary string or sequence. So now in my try, I not only have to represent the characters, but I also have to represent the binary sequence associated with that character. Let's take an example to see how we are going to do this. Let's say I have the characters A, B, C, D and R. The binary string associated with each of these characters are 000, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 10, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1. Now I have to construct a try such that I represent both the characters and the binary sequence. So how I am going to do that is whenever I traverse to the left of the binary tree or the try in this case, I am going to add a 0 to my binary sequence. So if I go left, I add a 0 to my binary sequence. If I go right, I am going to add a 1 to my binary sequence. So let's see what I mean by this. So let's take A for example. So I have a root here. I am going to go left first. This will give me 1 0. Then I need another 0. So I will go left again. So I will get another 0. Now A has another 0 so I will go left again. And over here I am going to store A. Now let's look at B. For B is 0, 0 and then I need a 1. So I am going to go right. Now for C I first need a 1 in my binary sequence so I will go right and then I need a 0 so I will go left. Now D I need 1 first and after that 1 I need another 1 so I will go right. As for R I have a 0 first and then I have to have a 1 so I will go right from here. So this is how you construct the try for this set of alphabets and binary sequences. So what is the point of creating an encoding try? The function of an encoding try is to encode a particular string whose characters are present in the encoding try. So let's say I want to encode the string abracadabra. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan character by character and add the binary sequence in my code. So at first I have A. So I have 0, 0, 0. Then I have B, 0, 0, 1. Then I have R, 0, 1, A, C, A, D, A, B, R and A. So this is going to be my code for abracadabra. So now that we have seen how to encode a string, let's see how we are going to decode it. So I'm going to start with my code and I should retrieve abracadabra from this code. So I'll start at the first character which is 0. So I have 0 so I'll go to the left. I have 0 again, I'll go to the left. I have 0 again, I'll go to the left. 
now i have arrived at a character i at that point i will write that character and so on so this set of zeros and ones are basically directions on how to traverse the tree and whenever you reach a leaf node you write the leaf node and you start back at the root so let's see for this 0 0 0 we have found an a so i'm going to cut out this and write an a then i have 0 0 1 so i have 0 0 1 i i reach a leaf node so i'm going to write b similarly i'll have 0 1 i'll reach a leaf node so r then i have 0 0 Zero. I'll reach a leaf node A, and so on. I'll get the entire string. Now, at this point, it is important to note that this method only works because all the characters are present at the leaf node. What does that mean? It means that no two characters have binary sequences. that share a common prefix if you see in this set of characters no two of these binary sequences share a common prefix so when we are scanning the code we keep going traversing the tree according to the ones and zeros whenever we reach a leaf node we are going to write the character now if suppose i had a character with a binary sequence that shares the prefix of another character let's say i had a character maybe s somewhere here which is 0001 now that is going to share the prefix of a that is 000 now when we traverse 000 we don't know whether to go to s or stop at a that is after we have reached a node with a character there cannot be any following nodes to it because then when we are parsing these numbers we don't know whether to stop at that character or go on to the next one so what we should take away from this is all the characters need to be placed at leaf nodes why because no two characters should share a common prefix in their binary sequences why because this leads to conflict when we are trying to traverse the code and ascertain the characters so with that we have learned how to construct an encoding try encode a particular string using an encoding try and decode that string using the encoding try now this code is of 29 bits or 29 characters now we want our code to be as short as possible that would be the optimum code now currently this encoding of abracadabra is not the optimum version there exists a code of the same string if we rearrange the encoding try which represents a code of having fewer bits so how do we ensure that when we construct an encoding try and when we set these binary sequences that our code is going to be optimal we do that using an algorithm called huffman encoding so what is huffman encoding going to do it's going to give us the optimum encoding try for a particular string that produces the shortest code we will take a look at huffman encoding in the next video